we're all set to go. Yeah, I'm wondering... Can I just say, firstly, um, thank you for coming out all this way. Uh, it's great to be back in Christchurch. Today I've been meeting with business owners uh, and leaders here, as well as also uh, spending some time at Lincoln University, actually, uh, talking about what they're doing with respect to research and development in the ag tech space. Before I begin and take your questions, I just want to prepare and read a prepared statement, if I can, uh, and bear with me while I do so. Uh, last night, I accepted Taranaki King Country MP Barbara Kuriga's resignation from her portfolios of agriculture, biosecurity and food safety. I've become aware that Barbara and her family are involved in a personal dispute with the Ministry of Primary Industries that is ongoing. I discussed this with Barbara and she accepts that this is a significant conflict of interest and the failure to recognise it and to take steps to manage this conflict has been a serious lapse of judgement and on this basis, Barbara felt it appropriate to resign from her portfolios. From today, Bay of Plenty MP Todd Muller will become Acting Spokesperson for Agriculture, Biosecurity and Food Safety, and as I have previously indicated, I intend to undertake a wider reshuffle in the coming months. And with that, happy to take your questions. What exactly is Barbara disputing with the uh, that's a matter for Barbara and her family uh, for, in, their, in their personal dispute with MPI to talk to. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, there was a conflict of interest that wasn't well registered and managed and it's entirely appropriate that she's resigned her portfolios. Were you concerned she was trying to use her uh, portfolio for personal gain? Well, as I said, um, I think when you've got a personal dispute with MPI and as a, a spokesperson for agriculture, there is an obvious conflict of interest. Uh, it wasn't uh, registered, it wasn't recognised and it wasn't well managed and as a consequence that represents a serious lapse of judgement and for that uh, she's decided to resign her portfolios. Did the MPI alert you to this matter? Uh, my office was alerted by a third party uh, and they looked into it and then Barbara and I met last night and discussed it fully then. So it wasn't Barbara who offered it up? Uh, as I said, uh, a third party raised it within my office, we looked into it and I discussed it in full, full with Barbara last night. When did you... As that's when I first became aware of the full extent of Barbara's involvement and the ongoing nature of the dispute as well. Did Barbara resign or was she pushed out? Uh, we had a very good conversation going through the full detail of it all last night and it became apparent uh, that maintaining and holding on to those portfolios was untenable and uh, Barbara made the decision to resign those portfolios. Exactly. Oh, oh, what? Sorry. Also, why is Todd acting as opposed to taking on the role well, as I've said from when I became the leader, I said that a year later I would look at doing a reshuffle within our caucus. It's a year out from the election, I suspect, uh, and so in the in coming months there'll be a further reshuffle. And so uh, Todd is incredibly capable. He's a, a hugely respected in the agriculture sector. He'll be able to bring our agriculture caucus together, uh, and as I said, in the coming months we'll have a full reshuffle and we'll deal with other issues then. And what exactly is the nature of this serious lapse of judgement? Like what has she done? Well, the key issue is, as a spokesperson for agriculture, while you have a personal dispute in place with, and your family does, with the Ministry of Primary Industries, that creates an obvious conflict of interest. And the failure here was not to recognise that, not to manage it, uh, which you know led to, and frankly, a serious lapse of judgment. And so, for that, uh, Barbara accepts that, and that's why she's resigned her portfolio. Has she explained why she didn't raise it sooner? Um, look, the, you know, bottom line, she didn't recognise it, um, and she didn't put steps in place to manage it. And as a result, that's a lapse of judgment in my mind. And as a result, uh, that's why she's made uh, the, state, the, the resignation of her portfolios. What's the expectation as leader? How much sooner should she should she raise it? Well, uh, if I had known uh, you know, that earlier, that would have been a different story. But the reality is I became fully aware in the conversation with her last night about the extent of, of her involvement uh, and also the ongoing nature of that dispute. Will there be other reviews going into national MPs about potential conflicts of interest going forward? Well, we met with our caucus. I spoke to our caucus this morning. I think this is a very good reminder to, to our caucus and our team to uh, have disclosures and to make sure any conflicts of interest are well managed. Uh, I've said from the beginning uh, I want to be able to run with a team that has the highest possible standards and that's really important to me and so where there are obvious conflicts of interest, where there are disclosures that need to be made, I expect each of my 33 MPs to do so. And just like talk very quickly said. about the idea of the local elections. How did you feel the Labour performed in Labour election, in local elections here and uh, what do you think that means for national going forward? Well look, as I said at the time, you know, the fundamental thing here is that people are tired of this government, they're tired of not, things not getting done. Uh, what it signalled was very much that people want a change of direction and whether they want a local government or central government that can actually get things done and get outcomes for the New Zealand people so they get better um, opportunities. I 
Oh, now, look, on that note, um, have you seen the latest Curia research poll, um, which shows National at 39% and Labor at 34 I mean, is that the result of National's work or Labor's troubles? Look, I mean, it's encouraging. We, you know, we've come a long way if you think about where we were as a party just less than 12 months ago. And so what it says to me, though, and the most interesting thing, whether it's that poll or other polls, is that New Zealanders feel the country's heading in an utterly, totally the wrong direction. And they really want a government that not just does spin and not delivery, they want a government to be able to get things done. And that's the immense frustration with this government at the moment, is they are doing spending and announcements, but, they, but it's not getting improved outcomes. And that's what our job is as a government, is to make life a little less expensive, more convenient uh, for everyday New Zealanders so they can get ahead. Do you I worry, worry though, that, that sorry. this issue has been back from 2017. What do you make of the fact that this has been dragged up for four years? Um, again, I'm not going into the specifics of the issue that she has as a, herself and her family with MPI. But what I can tell you, the bit that I'm interested in, is that as a, as a spokesperson for agriculture, uh, it's an obvious conflict of interest, and it wasn't registered, and it wasn't managed, and that's a serious lapse of judgment. And that's why we had the conversation last night, uh, and she resigned her portfolio. Did you talk about a conversation? Uh, no, uh, Barbara and I had the conversation and reached this decision last night, and I informed caucus this morning, and Barbara spoke to it as well. When did you, as leader, first find out? Uh, I became fully aware uh, last night in our conversation um, and as a result of her involvement, but also importantly the ongoing nature of the dispute. You became fully aware, so you did know about it before? Oh no, all I was aware of before I entered politics was uh, an issue that Barbara's family had a court proceeding. Uh, beyond that, um, it was only uh, as in the full conversation last night that we had that I became aware of the ongoing nature of that dispute and her involvement with it. And when or did your office find out? Positive direction at risk? Uh, look, I think it actually speaks to the fact that as a, as a party and as a team, you know, we face up to our behaviour and we face up and we have standards and I think that's a very positive thing. I, I think people can see that I'm trying to lead with my values uh, and making sure that where uh, we haven't got it right, we take very swift and decisive action and, and we hold people to account for high standards. But surely your trust and confidence in her has been lost? Um, as I said, uh, you know, she... she um, she should have actually managed this conflict and she should have recognised it. Um, she sees that herself um, and as a, as a result she's resigned those portfolios. When did your office... Uh, it's highly unlikely she will have agricultural portfolios going forward. When but did I your... think Barbara has a lot to offer our team uh, and our caucus uh, and we'll leave the door open for her. When did your office find out? Uh, my office, an independent, a third party person came forward and raised the issue with my office about a week or so ago. My office looked into it, and then, as I said, Barbara and I got together in Wellington last night and had a discussion. And given this conflict, how can she stay on as MP? Sorry? Given this conflict, how can she stay on as MP? Well, really, it's about a conflict of her portfolios with, with the issue that she has at, as a personal and a family level. And really, that's the, that's the issue. And it's quite right that she's stepping down uh, and for a period of time without portfolios. Uh, but, you know, Barbara has a lot to contribute and to this country and, and to our team. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and we'll leave the door open, as I said to her before. What happens to her now? Um, well, she represents and focuses on representing Taranaki King Country, which is a very large electorate, uh, one that has, um, you know, is, is a very important one, and, um, and she'll be the very best local MP for Taranaki King Country she can be. Is it possible that National is throwing her under the bus for what is a really complicated issue regarding her family? Not at all. Uh, what this is, as I said, is you can't get away from the fact that as a spokesperson for agriculture, uh, which is your job, uh, while you have a personal dispute with the same industry that's responsible for the portfolios that you are responsible for, uh, that is an obvious conflict of interest. And the issue here is a failure to recognise that as a conflict and then importantly to put steps and mitigations in place to manage that conflict. And that's why it's a serious lapse of judgement and that's why after the discussion she resigned her portfolios. How serious is this? Sorry? How serious is this? Well, look, I think we've moved incredibly quickly and Barbara also recognises and accepts that this is the right course of action. It was her decision to resign those portfolios. Uh, but again, I think it speaks very strongly to a party that I said when I became the new leader that I was putting standards in place and I have high standards of my team uh, and that's what we're demonstrating here. Uh, I was aware of what they were related to, but actually uh, Barbara wasn't uh, part of those those proceedings uh, herself, uh, and, um, and 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 therefore that wasn't relevant. Right.
Just in, in terms of um, the Ropehu outline of lips, um, should the government start uh, $50 million in debt? Uh, and the government has contributed $15 million uh, to that infraction over the past four years. Should the government be bailing them out? Uh, look, ultimately, each business has to stand on its own feet and its own merits. And, um, you know, I know it's a really challenging situation. Um, it's a really difficult one. Uh, but ultimately, you know, that's a decision for the company itself to make. Just on that conflict of interest, you've said it is serious. So did you force her resignation? Uh, as I said, Barbara and I met together in Wellington last night. Uh, we went through the whole uh, situation. Uh, it was uh, at that point, as I said, I became aware of the ongoing nature of the dispute that she had and her family has, but also her involvement with it. And so uh, as we talked, it was quite obvious that there is an obvious conflict of interest. As I said, it hasn't been recognised, it hasn't been well managed. It's a serious lapse of judgement, and that's why it's entirely appropriate that, that she resigns those portfolios. But knowing that her family was involved earlier on, is that not enough when she is in that portfolio? What, what I wasn't aware of was the ongoing nature of the dispute since that event. We've actually had all of our members of Parliament going through uh, bullying and harassment training uh, through, the, uh, through parliamentary services. We've put in place also our own uh, party code of conduct uh, for all members and supporters uh, as well. And I'm, I'm deeply supportive of that of the Debbie Francis Review and the actions and the recommendations that come from it. Does, the par does the Parliament have a problem? Uh, look, it hasn't been my experience. I've been in Parliament now you know, just over 18 months. I've been the leader for the last 10 months. Uh, that's not my experience of Parliament whatsoever. But it's important that we continue to um, you know, make sure that all of our MPs are fully trained, uh, which is what we've been doing, uh, and that everyone's very conscious about the issues. Uh, we'll get the culture we deserve, and we, des we want to make sure it's the best possible culture in Parliament, and that's what we've been hard to do. So, I've just, awesome. just got Sorry. one more. Is it an abuse of power? Uh, what it is is a, is a, is a serious uh, conflict of interest, and you, you just cannot be holding agricultural portfolios uh, at that interface uh, that MPI manage uh, while you also have a, a personal a family dispute with the MPI. Uh, and it's entirely appropriate that she's resigned her portfolios uh, and has stepped down from it. All right, thanks so much, guys. Have a great Thank day. You. Enjoy your weekends.